What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is the locker room week one of season eight of the GBA. We are back. We are back. I'm so excited. We just drafted. Uh, I am prepping for my match against um, Chimpact and the Philadelphia Scissors. Uh, and your San Francisco Giantes of this season. Uh, if you watched the video prior to this one, uh, my draft recap video, I kind of went through it a little bit. But for those of you who are just joining us today for week one, welcome. Uh, my team is Mew, Mega Scizor, Blacephalon, Toxapex, Doug Trio, uh, Chestnut, Haxorus, Ditto, Rotom Fan, Slurpuff, and uh, Archaeops. So, uh, looking at. Uh, Chimp's team, he has got Uxi, Mega Camerupt, Magnazone, Tapu Bulu, Victini, Greninja, Guzzlord, Niheligo, Scrafty, Cloyster, and Rabombi. And so, looking at that team right now, I can honestly say it's, uh, it's very hard to prep for. Because so many of these Mons can go one way or another. Um, his team is very dichotomous in that some of them are super slow and some of them are super fast so he can run uh, weird trick room sets uh, and there's just a lot of areas a lot of places he can go with this there's a lot of Pokemon that I have that match up very well against him if he brings things that I think he'll bring but then you know it, it's been a struggle to prep for is as I guess what I'll say so we'll go over the team builder now and kind of talk you through everything we are bringing uh, Dig Dug the Doug Trio, Proto the Mega Scizor, Toys R Us the Haxorus, DMX uh, the Toxapex, Big Burb the Archaeops and Head Go Boom the Blacephalon so let's sort of start off with uh, my my prep going into this. Um, I kind of went at it alone. Ordinarily, uh, I have someone who sometimes helps me team build, um, and that would be Envy. But he, of course, isn't going to help me team build uh, against another one of his friends, which is Chimpact. So I, I had to go at this one alone. Uh, and so I spent quite a bit of time kind of looking at his team and seeing what he had. And one thing I was noticing is... I'm finding it pretty easy to have a way of dealing with the Victini, uh, with the Niheligo, with the Tapu Bulu, and those are sort of his fast hard hitters, uh, and I have pretty good ways of dealing with it. But what I don't have good ways of dealing with, what I don't have switch-ins for, are things like uh, certain sets of Guzzlord, certain sets of... I guess in theory Greninja, uh, and then I'm finding it could be potentially hard to break Uxi and uh, and the Mega Camera up under Trick Room could be a big problem for me. So a big amount of my prep came down to I don't want to let Trick Room get up and then just lose three Pokemon to the Mega Camera or something like that. So a big amount of my prep was focused on that. Uh, so. Big Burb is probably going to be my lead, barring him bringing some really bizarre things. I like Big Burb as a lead, I like Proto as a lead. The reason I prefer Big Burb um, is that it can bluff Scarf uh, pretty well. It runs a lot of suicide lead sets, uh, Taunt, Stealth Rock, things like that. Uh, but what I have it as is a Rocky MZ, Head Smash, Earthquake, Acrobatics, and U-Turn. Uh, of which only about two of the mons on his entire squad of 11 won't get O-Code by some combination of uh, what I choose to do with him. Uh, he's running Jolly uh, Max Speed because I need him to be able to outspeed the Niheligo. So, uh, yeah, uh, and also he has another... Uh, I want him to be able to outspeed Jolly Victini. Uh, both of those are potential Scarf moms, so being able to bluff Scarf against those potential leads is also a good thing. So, uh, a big reason I like this is I think Uxie is a likely lead for him. Uh, sets up Stealth Rocks. If he is going to run a, a Trick Room team, then it can it can Trick Room first turn. Uh, in, in the I had to play against myself, which is sort of hard to do, but it helps me learn a little bit about the opponent's team. If he leads Uxie, I click U-turn. 
and I get some decent damage off on him. Quite a lot of damage, uh, which is good because the Uxi actually is kind of hard for me to break. Uh, so I, I U-turn with Big Burb, and then I would go into Proto. And now depending on what the Uxi chose to do, if he chose to attack, fantastic, because he cannot break Proto. My Proto that I'm running this week is a an impish mixed of like an impish defensive uh, Mega Scizor set with Bullet Punch, U-turn, Defog, and Roost. Now Proto can come in pretty safely against the Uxi every time the Uxi is in. Um, depending on the set, the Uxi will probably outspeed me. Uh, in fact, almost guaranteed he's going to outspeed me. Uh, I have Bullet Punch, I have U-Turn, I have Defog, I have Roost, I have lots of either uh, field control options to do here. Uh, I can gain some momentum with U-Turn. I'm not really worried about the Uxie when Proto's in because a Fire Punch even will hardly hit me for more than like 30 or 40 unless he's a max attack set, which I just don't see him being. So this set uh, is very good at coming in on Uxie. It can threaten it out with the U-Turn. It can defog away hazards if he opts to set them up. If he opts uh, when I U-Turn on him with Big Burb to go for Stealth Rock's first turn, then I'll defog him. If he opts to go for, say, a Trick Room, uh, then I will have to U-Turn uh, out on the turn that he clicked Trick Room against my Big Burb because I do not want to ever give him the opportunity to go into Magna Zone under Trick Room against Proto. And the reason is, Magna Zone can only kill the set that I have here, the bulk I have on Scizor, if it's Specs, but it'll only outspeed me if it's Choice Scarf. And, uh, sorry, yeah, so if it's if it's under Trick Room, it will underspeed me and thus outspeed me and be able to kill me with Hidden Power Fire from its specs. But if it's not under Trick Room, the only way it'll go first, so I'll be able to U-turn out on it, the only way it'll go first is if it's Scarfed, and then it won't kill me with the Hidden Power Fire, so then I can bring in something after and I'll have that information. So it's all about... The information I can gain based on those two moves if that's his opening play. Now it's a very big risky gambit to put a lot of eggs in that basket, but Uxie is such a common lead and it costs me nothing to have that mindset, that play in my mind. So uh, a big reason for Proto being the set that he is, uh, it's a really good switch into Tapu Bulu. It's an amazing switch into Uxie. Uh, I can survive a hit from a Scarfed Magna Zone. Uh, it's... It's like kind of neutral against the Scrafty. Um, it, the Scrafty can do a lot of different sets. It's a good switch into the Cloister, and it's a solid defog option for me. So uh, I really like that for it. I think it's, it'll be a good, uh, safe switch for me in a lot of circumstances. So that was a big reason for Proto. It gives me a U-turn back and forth core with Big Burb. And so here's another uh, a set that I, I kind of like, that I'm really proud of, and I really hope it works out for me. Uh, DMX, Toxapex, Eject Button, Regenerator, Scald, Haze, Recover, Toxic Spikes. Now, really, this is because I don't want to let any kind of setup get out of hand against me. Uh, he's got the potential for Dragon Dance on the Scrafty. Uh, he could be Bulk Up on the Scrafty or on the Bulu. He could be... Um, there's Swords Dance options for him, there's Shell Smash options for him. I want, just in case I want something there, so I have Haze. Skull would be nice to get a burn if I can. Uh, toxic Spikes, uh, just some hazards I think could be useful. I honestly think Nihiligo is not a great bring for him, so it would be nice to uh, set up some Toxic Spikes if that's the case. It doesn't do a, a ton to his team, but it's something for, uh, for DMX to do to sort of lay the foundation for other Pokemon on my team to do some real work. I'm running max special defense because I want an answer to Greninja and it's a very safe search into Nihiligo. Uh, and here's another big thing, the reason I'm running eject button. In the scenario I described to you earlier, I, I need to be able to survive a hit from a Camerupt under Trick Room. And this set does that. Uh, it can survive a modest, maxed special attack Earth Power from Camerupt. So I can switch in on that, survive it, eject button out, choose to go into Doug Trio, who under the Focus Sash will trap him, live, 
and Earthquake to Sucker Punch in order to get the KO on him, because I don't believe Earthquake will kill him if he's got any sort of bulk uh, investment, so if he puts stuff into HP. Uh, so, really, Dig Dug is here uh, to trap and kill two potential Trick Room Abusers, which is his Magnazone, his Guzzlord, potentially his Scrafty, but I'm not really worried about his Scrafty, but most importantly, the Camera. Uh, so, obviously, I'm not going to kill the Guzzlord, but it, it's an option for me there. Reversal is for Guzzlord primarily. It would also do something against the Scrafty, something against the Magnazone, although Earthquake is obviously better. Uh, the Focus Sash is really just, it, I, I need some help there. Proto is such a solid um, defogger for me that I'm pretty confident I can keep rocks off the field uh, in the early and mid game. So that's the, the big reason there for this set. I wanted to go max speed just to, in the off chance that he opts to run like a modest Greninja, then I'll outspeed it. And uh, I just wanted to make sure that I'm not getting outspeed by any of his other um, pretty fast mons. So that's the reason for that. Uh, Sucker Punch, uh, I want the priority just in case I fail to take out some, one of the mons that I trapped with my first Earthquake and I want to get a, an additional hit off on it. So that's the reason for Doug Trio. Uh, I really hope this plan works out for me. When I was playing against, obviously when you play against yourself, it, it's easy to see why it would and why it could, but playing against Chimp, I'm not sure whether or not it will, but I like the option. Eject button on Toxapex I think is a, is a fun idea. Uh, it just, it kind of sucks against U-Turn, uh, and he does have some U-Turn options on him between the Greninja, the Victini, the Uxie, uh, he's got Volt Switch on the Magnazone, so it, I'm pretty sure Robombi gets, I really do not see Robombi coming. Robombi does very little damage to most of my mons, it's fast, okay, but it's too easy for me to wall it, so I, I don't see that coming, but, you know. When I have a Mega Scizor, do I think he's going to bring a Robombi? No. So that's so I'm not too worried about that. But I really hope that plan works out for me. That was a big part of my strat in stopping the Mega Camera Up, which could potentially take out almost all of my mods. I really don't have a switch into it. I think very few people do. It's it's very powerful. Um, so there's that. What am I missing here? I haven't gone over Head Goes Boom. Head Goes Boom is a pretty standard one. Uh, has the potential to pretty much just win the game if I come in at the right circumstance. Mind Blown and Shadow Ball uh, covers his team very well. If I can bring it in on something uh, that he's kind of forced to sack, uh, then I easily pick up my Beast Boost to my special attack, and then it's pretty much off to the races. The struggle here is that he does have Mon that are faster than it that threaten it very easily. He's got the Greninja, which uh, I have pretty high up on the list almost exclusively because of Blacephalon. Uh, it's got great coverage, of course. Greninja is a great Pokemon. And uh, by bringing that, he can threaten uh, to take out the Blacephalon. Uh, I did bring a Choice Scarf just to give me the opportunity to outspeed it, just in case it's not a Scarf itself. Uh, but he does have Water Shuriken on it. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here and there with it. Blacephalon can really do so much to his team but uh, I need to either set the ground for it or establish a different win condition and just use him to just blow a hole in the mid game. So that's what I'm looking at for Blacephalon, either clean up at the end game or really punch some holes in the mid game. And uh, what I consider to be right now, just looking at his team of 11, not his team of six, I consider this to be my win con. This is Haxorus, uh, Focus Sash to allow me to get a Dragon Dance up uh, pretty much guaranteed. Uh, that's Poison Jab, Earthquake, and Dragon Claw. He very much struggles uh, to handle Haxorus. The only things that can survive a two hit, that can survive a... I'll need to look at my, um, where's my math? I can pull it up right now, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna talk about it. He can Oko pretty much everything once I get a, uh, a plus one up with Dragon Dance, except for the Scrafty, if it's defensive, or the Uxie. So I need to weaken one or both of those in order to sweep with Haxorus. If it gets me to a situ- and the thing is also, Uxie will struggle to take out Haxorus. Um, he can do some damage to him, but it'll pretty much just be exchanging blows. So he could cripple me with something like a T-Wave or- 
you know, he could toxic me. Like, he can inflict status on me. He can take advantage of those extra turns to set up, uh, like, a trick room against me or something like that. So it would be important for me to try and weaken Uxi. If he sits on it in the back, that kind of hurts Haxorus a little bit. So i got to try and make some plays to get him weakened. But once he's weakened, uh, I can get a Dragon Dance up against him, and then pretty much off to the races at that point, I can sweep the rest of his entire team. So really my big things I'm seeing, Big Burb and Haxorus can just decimate him. I just need to get rid of Scarfs, uh, so try and scout for some Scarfs early on, and then just really try and put in work that way. Archaeops really does so incredibly well against him. So incredibly well. Um, the Rocky MZ Head Smash, pretty much if, if someone on his team doesn't resist it, they die to it, which is fantastic. And then that opens up Acrobatics. So mons that are decent against the Rock Stab uh, will fall to the Acrobatics, like Scrafty uh, is another example of that. So that's the team I'm bringing this week. Uh, I think it it's not an unusual team, you know, like if he's looking at my team and what threatens him, he will see a lot of these. A big thing I'm going for is just layering and stacking the threats. I just need to find uh, what on his team is doing what. I need to do uh, some investigation in the early game, try and weaken some of his uh, really bulky Pokemon, and then off to the races with some of my... Uh, faster sweepers at the end game. So let me guys let me know what you think of the team guys if you would have brought anything different uh, If you see anything of his team that maybe I've missed let me know in the comment I'd love to see in the comments down below I of course won't be able to actually read those comments until after I've already had the match with chip which is happening in uh should have been about 10 minutes ago, so so uh, we'll get. I'm gonna get started with him now. I'm gonna message him in just a bit. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys tomorrow. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys tomorrow.